Today, I'll show you how to format a micro SD or SD card to FAT32, even if it's larger than 32 gigabytes. So some of you may know that due to a limitation in Windows, we are unable to format any drives with partitions larger than 32 gigabytes into FAT32. And this becomes a problem when we try to upgrade the storage on devices like the PSP, 3DS, or certain dash cams. And that's because certain devices, especially older devices, only work with FAT32. And the problem is a lot of these larger SD cards come in XFAT. But the good news is there's a free way to bypass that limitation and format one of these SD cards to FAT32. Let's show you how. Now, first off, you're gonna need your SD card or micro SD card. I have a 128 gigabit version here. And then you're gonna need some kind of adapter, most likely to plug it into your computer. So whether that is one of those micro SD to SD card adapters or one of these USB micro SD SD card uh, adapters that you just plug into one of your USB ports. Now, if you're using a full size SD card or one of these SD card adapters, like you can see here, a write permission lock. So if that one is down, you wanna make sure that it is up in the unlocked position. Now, before you go ahead and proceed with the process, make sure that you back up any data that you have on your SD card. Now, since disk management and any tools with Windows will not allow us to format this into anything other than NTFS and XFAT, our next best option is to use this free disk format tool, EaseUs Partition Master. This tool can easily format an SD card of any size to FAT32 as we need, and the process is super simple. Now we have two options here. We can use the disk converter or we can use format. Now, this converter currently only supports three formats, but one really nice thing about it is that when converting the drive's format, the files on your storage device will stay exactly where they are and they won't be deleted. This can be extremely convenient in certain situations. But today my drive is completely empty, so we can go ahead and use the format option. So if we right click on our partition here and we go ahead and press format, we're gonna to go to the file system. We're gonna choose FAT32. And as it states here, it'll erase all data on the partition. We don't have any data to worry about, so we're all okay. We can just press okay here. And then it's just gonna confirm with us that the data is going to be erased. We're gonna press yes. Now we just execute our task. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and open up our disk management and we can scroll down to our drive here and we can see that it is a 119.25 gigabit FAT32 partition. We're all good to go. Hope that helps. I'll see you next time.